Well, hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is my start piece. So guys, for a new video, I have a new design. But before I talk about the new design, some of you might have watched my previous video where I made this fancy finja. If you haven't watched it and you want to watch it, the link will be in the description. You just click on it and you can watch how I made this one. But, to comprehend this piece, today I need to make some kind of fancy wood turning. And this is the design I came up with. I'm not even sure what is it called. It doesn't really have a function. It's kind of like an ornamental piece. And the fancy finio goes on top. This is the body. And the body will be carved. And this carving, it's a really simple carving, but it's following the same twisted form as the finio. And the very long length piece with some decoration on it. So, let's just get to it and see how it goes. So, let's turn some wood. What? I'm cool. So, I am going to make the main body from oak. And this is partly because I have that wood lying around in the workshop. And because carving hardwood and keep those edges are much easier with hardwood but I generally don't like the color of the oak so I might stain it at the end so let's just start to work forward the shape Okay, I will start to shape the outside. It will be just a basic shape, nothing fancy. Okay, I think this is fine. This is kind of the shape I am going for. Obviously I don't want to make it much thinner than here because it's going to break. So I send it up a little bit just to be able to draw lines on it and then I start carving it. Let's see, so that's good enough, I'm going to draw the lines on it and start carving. So I am going to power carve and I'm going to use this bit. So with this bit I can remove lots of material very quickly from my fingers. So I'm going to put one glove on, just in case, believe me. And let's try this. It shouldn't be that difficult. So I'm pretty confident I can do this. So 
So what I am doing right now, I am just using the shape of the tool to make an even cut. Because it's a cone shape. So if you just lay it flat, you kind of make an even cut. So I think this is deep enough, so now I just want to go underneath here and just create a sharp edge. So for the job like that, my best bet going to be probably this one. It's pretty much the same shape as the first bit, except this is, it is less aggressive. When you power carve, the hardest thing always to clean up your cuts. So I think this one will take care about that. See how clean it is now? It's a very simple shape, simple carving, but it adds a lot to your piece. So this piece doesn't really have a function, I want to make it into something like an ornamental piece, but just out of respect to the wood turning community, I am going to hollow it out as much as I can. Okay, let's finish this side of the piece. So I'm going to make the bottom part now. It's probably have to be made from two different pieces because this part is much larger.
So before I go any further, I am going to make the joint for the main body and just hollow it out. So let's do that. Okay, we can start to shape the outside. So I'm going to make the base now. This is the finished piece, it's quite long, 
find it difficult to fit into the screen but let me give you a closer look so here is the finial made out of walnut coated with clear lacquer as I said I stained the main body with white chestnut spirit stain and kind of like sanded it back and coated it with clear lacquer and the leg piece also made out of walnut coated it with clear lacquer so if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel I upload crazy project like this all the time and if you made it at the end of this video thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one